to create this design you need to add a cube then scale this cube along the x axis and z axis then apply the scale and go to the edit mode press shift ctrl alt and select these edges and ctrl b add bevel on them then turn on the wireframe then shift a and add cylinder i will go with a 24 word cylinder and scale it down and give the right position to it then here adjust the scale and try to align the edges then scale it along the z-axis and move it along the z-axis then go to the rate mode add center loop cut and delete this bottom faces then select these words and press f to fill the gap then add one loop cut here then shift d to duplicate it and select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference then duplicate that cylinder and this is going to be another cutter object give it right position and right scale and then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference now select these top faces remove these words so you can get the outer each loop and then ctrl b add bevel on it add one segment bevel then apply this boolean modifiers then select everything made symmetrize then delete one half of the model then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create cuts like this you need to create supportive topology for the model so use the knife tool and create cuts in this way and then select these words and merge them at the center then create cuts at here in this way then create one cut like this so you can get core at there then add loop cuts and then select these words and then connect them pretty simple then same thing add here also select these words and then merge them in this way then here we need to decrease edges so that's why select these alternate edges and control x to dissolve them then select these words and merge them and connect these words then use the knife tool and create cuts like this just try to create a good topology for the model then create supportive cuts then you can select this edge loop with the shift select go to the object mode apply the scale and then ctrl b add bevel on it then select this edge loop and use the loop tool circle option then create more supportive cuts like this add new loop cuts at there and just use the knife tool and create cuts in this way then same thing at the bottom side also create supportive cuts that support your topology for the model then you can select this outer edge loop and then ctrl v add bevel on it then select these words and merge at the center and remove these edges then create cuts from the inner side also like this to maintain that core based topology so you can get a proper loop structure select everything press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged and you will get a proper loop structure then select this edge loop and ctrl b add bevel on it and then select these edges we want to create a sharper detail at there so that's why you need to select these edges and then ctrl b add bevel on them add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one then hit the ctrl 2 to add the sub d modifier then shade smooth it and there you go you can get this kind of design then select these edge loops and then ctrl b add bevel on them like this so you can get a sharper detail then add supportive loop cuts and then select these faces use the insert operation press b to avoid the border and then select these words and merge them at the center and remove these unnecessary edges then dissolve these edges and then select these words and merge at the center just dissolve then select this edge loop and add bevel on it and then create a little details at there on the model so it's very simple then select everything and make symmetrize so you can get this kind of design just remove these edges select this part and move it along the z-axis so you can decrease the height then unhide that cylinder go to the edit mode select these top faces 
and then control B add bevel on them then select these faces and create a little detail out there then delete this face and use the grid fill out there Then I have just added this nut uh, design from the kit bash which you can get on a gum road. Then snap it to the 3D cursor then fix it at the right position then add a mirror modifier on it. In this way you can create this kind of simple and decent looking design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.